Here's an argument that happened. Galileo actually saw it first, but thought it was a star, so that's you out, my old friend. Then this guy, representing Great Britain, John Couch Adams, worked out that Uranus was wobbling, because another planet nearby that we couldn't see was pulling on it. And also calculating the same thing, representing France, was Urbain Le Verrier. They both predicted similar places in the sky to look at, and the race was on. John asked this guy, James Chalice, to look for it, and he saw it twice, but because he was a bit shoddy at keeping notes and charts, he didn't realise what he'd seen. Urbain's guy was Johann Gottfried Gallet, who then saw it and crucially realised he'd seen it. France and Great Britain had never really had any nationalistic rivalry, so it was settled nicely. Oh no, wait, they had a massive row. But let's face it, Urbain and Johann actually saw it first, so they got to name it Neptune, the god of the sea. Or in Chalice's case, sea. No, too soon. What's it like to visit? Neptune is an ice giant, so it's windy, gassy and soupy. Though the wind is 600 miles an hour, so not to be sniffed at. Or in, literally. It's called Neptune as it's quite blue because its atmosphere is mostly methane. What's it famous for? It's mostly known for being really far away. But when we look for planets around other stars, we call them Earth-like, Jupiters or Neptunes. So it's a pretty standard ice giant. Though we only have two, so it's more boring than the other planet which we call the most boring. Probably the most important thing it does is set the limit for where we find planets. Beyond it is a collection of rocks called the Kuiper Belt. Have we been there? We drove past it once with Voyager 2, which found an extra few moons. We then pointed the Hubble Space Telescope at it and saw that the dark spots move and light spots appear as the storms rage on. One weird thing is that Neptune is a bit too warm for being that far from the sun, and no one knows why. Something is going on in that thick atmosphere. I vote party. Party. <laughs>